or stinks. She's stinking up the house, and today she's getting a bath. Somebody asked me if I can make a video of uh, Ori getting a bath, so that's what I'm going to do. In the description of this video will be a link, and if you click that, you'll see all the products that I'm using today. Um, the first thing I do is clean her ears. This is by far one of the best reviewed um, ear cleaners that I use. So Aura's ears, as you can see, they're not that dirty. My last German Shepherd, I had to clean her ears once a week. Aura's just don't get dirty. They just naturally stay pretty clean. So I'm very happy about that. And I just, uh, just kind of get everything wet in there. Let it uh, soak for a second or two. And I get all the gunk out. And I do this right before her bath. So she gets the whole treatment today. There's a clean ear. Yeah, most of it. Um, this ear was more dirty. If you ever get in there and you smell yeast, um, you will have to go see your vet. But it's best to not let it get to that point. So if you got a dog that has dirty ears or stinky ears, you can put your nose in there and sniff it. Then uh, you stay on top of it and just be proactive about it. For her bath, I uh, clip her nails. I'm not going to do a whole video on nail clipping right now, but uh, I do clip it with these clippers. Which she tolerates. And I come back a minute later, and if you've seen the other videos, I use the Dremel tool. All right, for that time of year when she's blowing her coat, I would use this gently to get the undercoat out. But it's not that time of year. So I'm using the Furminator. I have a video about this up too. And this thing is just awesome. It's gonna pull out any loose hair. So to start the bathing process, I, I just get out the hose. Uh, sometimes I, I do it inside. Um, but nothing, no magic here. Just uh, the hose and a wet dog and We'll lather her up with shampoo in a second. During the process, I, I try to keep her standing, but sometimes she uh, does this on me. Get up, bar. There you go. After she's all lathered up, I rinse her off. <laughs> It's all clean. Come here, Aura. Come here. <laughs> Aura. Right all right, that's how we clean the German Shepherd. I want to talk real quick about shampoo selection. Um, these three are special. I'll get to those in just a second. Um, this is just an oatmeal-based shampoo. I probably bought it at the food store. Totally fine for cleaning any dog with. Um, I've used it many times. I'm happy with it. I buy it because you get this gigantic bottle. It's like two pounds of shampoo. My local pet store sells this brand, and I probably bought it because I've seen it there so many times. Plus, it's got a picture of a German Shepherd on it. This says it soothes hot spots. I'm sure it helps, but this does not have the active ingredients needed to help with a bacterial skin infection. So, I use this one with, with caution. I just use it as a normal shampoo. Same with this. This is another one. 
those all smell great. On to these real quick. Uh, there's one I use called Bayer. It's a blue bottle with a red top. This one's very similar. It's a red bottle with a yellow top. Um, this is good for fleas. It has the same, it has good active ingredients. If you've got fleas, this will take all the fleas off the dog in about five minutes. But, of course, they'll get back on the dog if you still have fleas in your yard or in your house. They'll just hop right back on eight minutes later. If a dog has fleas, sometimes they scratch themselves. When they break their skin, they usually get a bacterial skin infection. If you get a viral skin infection, you do have to go to the vet for medicine. But a lot of bacterial skin infections you can treat yourself. Um, this one, my pet store sells. This one, my veterinarian sells. It's got some really good active ingredients, which definitely help um, skin infections. So the importance of that is if your dog has a skin infection, they'll stink. So sometimes when you uh, go to wash your dog, you're washing your dog because they smell bad. So do they smell bad because they haven't had a bath in a couple months? Or do they smell bad because they have a skin infection? So if they have a skin infection, it could be because they had fleas. And they scratch themselves, breaking the skin, allowing themselves to get a bacterial skin infection, which made their coat stink. If you don't have any of those problems going on, any old shampoo is fine. I like these because they, they're supposedly, they don't strip all the dog's oils off. I'm not sure. Um, I also have some experience with some puppy shampoos. I'll put that in my uh, article. So if you click on the... Um, and the link below, you'll, you'll see links to that also.